Collaborate's Departments feature is a really great way of separating content from different members of your team. To show how it works, let's first go to the Team page. So let's add a new department. And I can either choose a department from a preset list, or I can create an entirely custom department with whatever name I choose. So I'm going to create a new department for Clients. Then I'm going to create another department for my post-production team. If I look back on the files page, there are two folders for the new departments I just created. And the way departments work is that if you're an admin, you can automatically see all files in all departments. If you're not an admin, then you can only see files in departments you've specifically been added to. I'm going to add a non-admin to the client's department. And now if I log in as this user, you can see that the user can only see the client's department because that's the only one that they exist in on the team page. If I upload a file to the root of the project, all users will be able to see it because the root folder is outside of any departments. If I go back to my restricted user account, I can still see that file. But if I then move this file to post-production, which the other user doesn't have access to, that user can no longer access the file. And so in this example, the post-production team can work on the file without the client seeing it. Now the file's ready to go, and I want to share it with my client, but it has comments on it from the rest of my team, and I don't want my client to see those comments. Now, one way around that would be to just re-upload the file again, but that would just be a waste of space. So we created aliases, and aliases are like shortcuts on your desktop operating system. And they link to a file's data, but Collaborate treats it as a completely separate file. And so the comments are completely separated. So to create an alias, you right click on the file and select Create Alias. Then it asks you what you want to do about versions. So I can either link to all past and future versions, meaning if I upload extra versions of this file, the client will automatically have access to them, or I can choose to only link to this particular version. And in this case, I'm not planning to upload any more versions, so either option I select will work. So then you click Create Alias. And now I'm going to move the alias to the client's department. And now if I view it as my client, if I go to the client's department, there's the file. And if I click on it, I can't see any of the comments from the team. Another way departments can be useful is that if you're not an admin, you won't receive email notifications for things that happen in other departments that you don't belong to. So if you have a very large project with a lot of activity, using departments can be a way of making sure that people don't get overwhelmed by all the things going on in the project. So that's just a quick overview of the departments feature. To find out more about Collaborate, visit collaborate.tv.